Oh no, we're not gonna win. We're gonna go we're gonna draw. We're gonna get a draw here. Well, that's awesome. No, we we do win. But if you close you Hello awesome people and welcome to Gwent. I already played this game a few times on my channel, uh, but then again, but then it was the closed beta. Now it's already a long time that it's in op open beta. I've played it a lot, it's a cool game. Um, uh, first of all, I'm not an expert in it. Um, I don't pay for card cacks or whatsoever. This is all just from me scrapping together decks. Um, and as you can see, I have a few decks. Some are not completed. Um, some are just for fun, Other, others work pretty well in ranked. Uh, I am ranked 10, I think. Um, but today I want to show you this this one, Mighty Mulligan. Uh, the Mulligan feature is really cool, uh, but it doesn't really work quite yet because it's not really balanced. But there's still a lot of cool things you can do with this deck. Uh, bear in mind, I since I don't buy any cacks, I don't have any, uh, I don't have all the cards, not even close to it. So there's probably a far more efficient way of doing this deck. Um, but then again, it's really fun to play as. Um, so for now, I'm just going to go over the deck, explain what we're going to do, and then play a few games with it to show you what it feels like to play in this deck and how much fun it can be. So, of course, in a Mighty Mulligan deck, we're going to use the Elven War Dancers. Whenever you mulligan this unit, play it from your deck immediately. So the thing is, we want to, we want to, you know, get these cards in our hand and mulligan them right away. They go to the board and... You know we can get a, get a new card back that's that's kind of the kind of the thing um to do that to do that we use the round mulligans we use francesca um because she re uh, she when she deploys we can mulligan up to three uh, cards from our hand and we use these uh, riot officers when we deploy these guys we can mulligan a, ha a card from our hand um, so yeah, it's quite fishy because you kind of depend on what cards you're drawing and what cards you are drawing. Um, because you need cards to mulligan, but you also need cards to get points on the table. Which is, it's, it's, you need to find a balance between those two. And that's what makes it so much fun to play as this sort of, uh, archetype. Um, so that's the mulligan stuff. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we also have uh, these Riot Vanguards. Whenever you mulligan a card, boot self by one while in your hand, deck, or on your side of the board. So that means they are going to get plus one every time you mulligan a card. That means mulligan a card at the beginning of the round. Mulligan a card from Francesca. Mulligan a card from these Riot Officers. So these guys can easily become like 12, 13, 14, sometimes even 15, 16 points uh, in total. Uh, so the idea is that we play all of our cards in the, in the first two rounds and these guys are going to be the big finishers at the end of the round. The only thing is they boost themselves, they don't strengthen themselves. So if, uh, for instance, they uh, people uh, play Mardroom, uh, D-Bomb, uh, um, stuff like Peter uh, from Nilfgaard, that means they got debuffed and it's over. We don't win that last round. That's that's why this is not the best archetype there is. But it's really fun to play as again. Um, so that's sort of the bronze core. I'm not going to go into the spell cards uh, that much. Uh, oh, we, we I totally forgot these one. The Dolblatana Trappers. These guys are just for damage. They can do a lot of damage playing against stuff like monsters. Uh, killing all the Arrakis or Neckers or whatever. Um, yeah, it's, it's just really fun. Uh, or Golems. Nilfgaard, uh, it can be uh, it can be a, a real power swing, which is which is really cool. And otherwise, we'll just mulligan them away, uh, give the, give us another mulligan target to buff up all our other units. Uh, so yeah, that was the bronze cards. Uh, let's go into the spells. Sure, yeah, sh why not? Elsa's Thunder for just removing stuff from the board we don't want there to be. Uh, clear skies. We can rally with it. We uh, if for the last round we can rally for a uh, fish for a right vanguard, vanguard if we don't have it in our hands. Uh, but most of the time it would, will probably be used as a clear skies uh, for weather because weather is very prevalent in uh, Gwent these days. We have a blood curling roar um, mostly for other people that run fireball traps or <laughs> um, or for the uh, the raw tossers. So that's that's in there too. Uh, and we have um, 
then then we should go to the silver cards probably. So we have Roach, just a little power swing, um, and some deck thinning, which is also very important. And again, and that's sort of overrated, uh, underrated in this deck, because we like to mulligan stuff, picking Roach is not bad. We can mulligan Roach for extra points. So it's a mulligan target we want to get in our hand at some point, so we can pull it out and uh, play a Riot Officer or just mulligan it at the, at the beginning of the round. Um, so that, that's extra sort of an extra thing about Roche in this deck. We have Teruvial, which is just a point swing. Um, I'm not going to buff it up like most people do that play Teruvial. I'm just going to use it as the six point ambush card that it is. It can't be targeted while it's, uh, while it's uh, upside down. So that's really good. It's a guaranteed six points at that point. And it boosts stuff on the other side. And people may, may know that it's Teruvial, but I don't care because it's still going to be points. And most of the time they can't do anything about it. Otherwise, then kill the units next to it. We got Alarin, which is uh, going to be a simple deck finning card and also a mulligan target because we, we don't want this card in our hands. So we're going to mulligan it out and she will appear on the board when we have played five or more elf allies. So that's, that's sort of uh, her normal state, but we are mostly using her as a mulligan unit. Then we have Ida and Main, which is just the sort of auto include in uh, Scoriatel decks because she is the wizard, the mage, or whatever you want to call it. When she de deploys, you can spawn Impenetrable Fog, Clear Skies, or Quensign. She will be mostly used for Clear Skies again because weather is very prevalent. And I want to Clear Skies, I want to have a Clear Skies in my hand almost every time, at least until the last round, until I know that they don't play weather or that all the weather has been played. Um, so she will be used for clear skies. If not, we can use a Quen sign on the Vriot Vanguards and give them some extra points and a shield. Um, so the other ones are weather, of course, because it's very strong. We have Skellica Storm and we have Aromancy to fish it back from our deck or find it in our deck if we don't have it in the first place. Uh, and again, then we go to golds. So the last cards, we have Igni in there. Uh, as you can see, we don't have a lot of points. We can't generate a lot of points. So we need something to get rid of the other side's points. And Igni is, is, is a good card for that. It is inst instance, uh, it is sort of, you need a sort of layout to play this card. They need to play on the same row. They need to have 20 or above on that row. And that need to be cards that can be targeted by Igni. But still, it can produce some big point swings and I like to take a risk because this deck is all about playing for fun. Then we have Siri. Siri is just a, a sort of thing that we can, you know, use to get our advantage because that can be very important for us because we don't have big points like I just said. We need card advantage to play the last card. Um, so Siri is, is quite important here. We have Tyrus Marigold, which is just a solid seven point card and five point damage. We can remove stuff that we don't want on the board from the opposite side. Um, or at least damage it by a lot and get seven points gold on the table, which is just very good. This this card is probably overlooked because lo lots of people think it's a bad card because you start with this card. It's actually pretty damn good, believe me. And the last gold card is Iflane, which is um, a non-loyal unit. That means that you drop her on the other side of the board, so you give four points to the other guy. Instead, but instead you can play a bronze special card from your deck and then spawn a copy of it and play it again. So we use this for stuff like um, Elzer's Thunder. If they have some, some units on the board that we don't want there, we play If Not they play Elzer's Thunder and shock both, uh, both annoying units. Let's just call it that. Also use it for Clear Skies sometimes. Uh, play Clear Skies, clear up the weather, then play another Clear Skies and rally a unit, which uh, gives up some points because Playing Clear Skies doesn't give points to you, it just clears up the weather. So it's it's not much tempo, but playing two Clear Skies, one Clear Skies and one um, First Lights to call its card, the card's called, but playing uh, playing a Clear Skies and then a Rally, that gives you points in the, sa in the same uh, same thing that you clear the weather. So that's that's better than just clearing weather, in my opinion. And it's worth the four points at some point. And we can also just play Blood Curling War. If we have some low units on the board, could we even do it for our Elven War Dancers. Just play two Blood Curling Roars, give four points to the, to the opposite side, but get tw two times 12 points in return for just killing these guys. 
So that's that's also a big power boost if we need it. Uh, because that's again, that's the downfall of this deck. We can't produce a lot of points in one round. So that's going to be it. I'm going to go out and I'm going to see you in the games. So welcome back. This is going to be the first game I play with this mighty Mulligan deck. My and let's see who we face. Oh, we face another Francesca. That's quite, uh, that's quite a surprise actually. So as you can see, I'm using Gwen Tracker mostly because of you guys, so we can actually you guys can actually follow the um, the things we have in our deck. Um, so first of all, we're gonna mulligan these Elven War Dancers, and as you can see, we already boost our stuff. Um, we're gonna use Alarin as a mulligan, and yeah, I'm gonna mulligan. We don't need two right officers right now, so I'm gonna mulligan one away. We got Roach, that's fine, because we have another Vriot Officer, so we can mulligan that away. He's gonna play Mulligan too, and he's gonna boost up a Teruvio, probably, with these Dragoons. Uh, well, at least that's that's sort of what I um, I normally see, so let's play the Vriot Officer, let's mulligan Roach away. We got Blood Curling War, uh, not the best in this instance, but hey, we're just gonna see what happens. So let's see what he does. We were not the ones to start this. So I love this game. I love Gwen because it's really relaxed to play. Uh, he plays Yavin. So he goes for card advantage here, probably. We could. This most of the time means that they are gonna um, stop the round. But he needs 16 points to get the round. No, I, I want the first round. I, I definitely want the first round. So we're not gonna play Siri. That's my normal play at this point because you pressurize with Roach and Siri. That's nine points. You pressure them into or forfeiting the round to you or giving out card advantage. Um, in this case, we're gonna play Francesca, we do what and we're gonna get some uh, rerolls on our things and boost up these right vanguards. So let's get this uh, this one done. Um, let's get rid of first light for now because there's probably not much weather and the elven war dancer. That's pro that's really good. Uh, yeah, that's that's great for now. We got Ellerin, so we got a nice po uh, boost in our points, and yeah, she's played. He played Francesca too, and got Saskia. So like, like I was saying, it's a very relaxa relaxed game, you just sit back and enjoy playing some points. Um, we are up by 18. And we got rid of Saskia and Francesca. We could just pass here, because there, there's no way he can get 18 points in one, one card. So he needs to go down two cards. And we have Siri, so we have card advantage in the next round if we win. So let's let's just pass. Hopefully he'll give he'll give us the round. He's thinking about it. By the way, you can see that this deck has uh, given me a 70, 71 percent winning uh, ratio, which is quite okay, I guess. Especially for a deck that's just for fun. Uh, in rank, this is not gonna cut it right now. Especially if you don't uh, have all the cards. Yeah, he passed. So he gave us the round, which is fine. So we're just gonna use this round to bleed card, uh, cards out of him. And yeah, there we got Roach, which is fine. We got an Elven, Elven War Dancer, which is also a good pull. We're gonna get rid of the Elven War Dancer. That's three points already. We're gonna get rid of Roach right away. Boom. So yeah, like I said, these guys buff up real quickly. Really quick. 13 points already. We have another one in the deck. And we're gonna play Siri. We get Siri back, no matter what, unless he locks it. This is Elven Land, Dwan, upon which your kind dies. Clear weather. Oh, we could get some weather in right now. Oh, but he might get some weather in too. <laughs> uh, 
Um, should we do this or should we get... No, we might wait for the last round. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play these traps. He needs to react right away now. Because it's only one turn, otherwise he'll lose 6 strength. And this one will be... Uh, will go away, so that will be 7 strength. He's gonna bring it to there. That's that's fine, actually. So he's using movement. I'm not entirely sure what this guy is, uh, is doing right now. And I'm not sure what we should do now, because... Okay, we need to hold on to the uh, to the clear skies because he was lining up something over here. We can't use Iflane right now because we don't have any bronze special cards in our deck. Should we pressure any more? No, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna pressure. I'm gonna pressure some more. Death awaits us all. Oh, he's going for the movement stuff. Okay, so this is... Um, 18 points. Not enough to Igni. Uh, we could play a Fog. No, that, no, no that, that won't work. Because it only hits the highest target, so that only hits this one. You know what? I'm gonna play a Weather card. I don't care. Get some damage in right now. Remove one of those uh, guys. That at least is going to help a little bit. So, oh, this is a weird graph graphical bug. <laughs> okay, well, so again, it's an open beta. Um, okay, we're going to get card advantage because we're going to pass here. We're going to get Siri back. So that's we're going to get to seven and he needs to play one more card to win the round. So he gets to five. That means we have two cards advantage in the last round. So that sets us up for a nice... Uh, a nice lead. And he needs to play. Yeah, he needs to clear the skies there. Yeah, so he wins this round, but he goes down two cards because we got Siri back. So now it just comes down to what cards we get. And... Okay, we're gonna redraw Iflane because we don't have any bronze cards to play from our hand. And we don't want to give him... Okay, we got a bronze card now. But we don't want to give him 4 points in this round. So Iflane is not the best fit in this uh, in this deck. But I, like I said, I don't have any other cards right now to do this. Saskia would probably be a better fit to generate a lot of power in one turn. And he ate my other Vite Vanguard. Yeah, that's, that's not good. That also means that he knows what's coming. Uh, but any other thing that he plays in this back row, can, we can Igni. That's that's really good. So let's play Siri. He knows we have her in our hand. So let's just show it. Okay, he's gonna get... That's probably gonna be a Teruvial. So for now... What should we do? I'm not sure... About the wet. Let's let's go down here with Teruvial. Ida main is going to be on that row. We can place one of the right vanguards on that row if we want to, and then boost them up. But for now, I don't want to give anything away. I really don't. I was hoping you'd say that. So again, that weird glitch. There is something underneath here. I do not know what Gwent is doing right now. So this row is for no, it says 13 Damn, points. Don't like the look of this. Oh wait, that one card was glitched. It was from the last round. So yeah, he only got for the yeah. Okay, well that's what that's really weird. I do not know what this game is doing right now. Um. Yeah, what should we do here? We could we could play this one and then yeah, let's just play this one. Yeah, that's uh. Well, at least it's not a Teruvial. So, but that's our fire trap gone, and we can use our blood curling war. Yeah. Tricks will not save you, Dwar. Okay, we can get rid of that one if we want to. I don't think he has weather, so we can play Ida main, and we're gonna 
Quensign these right vanguards. Give them a boost of two points and a shield if he has some good cards at some point. That's fine, we're gonna eat that one. That's why we have the blood curling roar in there. And uh, we're gonna place this one on this side. He knows this is, he probably knows this is trivial, but again, he can't do anything about it. We're just gonna take the win here. If he doesn't do anything really, really good, really good. So yeah, he's gonna get rid of that. Yeah, that seems to be that he knows that this is trivial. But he's not gonna win. He's definitely not gonna win. Because we are going to play our vanguards. Truvio pounces, so that's, yeah, too bad we don't get that close, so... Let's play another vanguard. It's 13 points. Oh no, we're not going to win. We're going to we're gonna draw. We're going to get a draw here. Well, that's awesome. No, we're, we do win. Oh, I'm, I totally forgot about the four points of Igni. We do win. So that's how fun this deck is to play. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And for now, I yeah, this is going to be it. I hope you guys want to try Gwent. It's open beta right now, so you can get it for free. Uh, it's a real cool game. It's a real cool card game. It's, like I said, very relaxing. Uh, you just sit down, play it, and it's really, really fun. So I hope to see you guys one day in Gwent. As for now, I've been Hitbone. You've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for watching.